Hi guys, welcome back. I'm going to do an episode for the 2019 Tips Blitz. Uh, Emma's spare room machine shop, she brought it about. I'm not the best person to give tips out, because I'm not actually a machinist, I'm a mechanic. I've got a few things that newcomers might come up against uh, using the lathe. Uh, one of the problems I had was when I first started trying to do single point threading. It turns out that a lot of these compounds and different lathes are not set up like all the rest of them. So if you try and put your 29 and a half degree angle on your compound, it'll actually be put in more like a 60 degree angle and it ruins your threads every time. Also I want to try and show some uh, things to be careful of with your lathe, some lathe safety. I see lots of videos of people doing things that are quite dangerous in big stringy chips that I first hand have scared the hell out of myself with. So with all that out of the way, let's uh, show you a couple of things that I think you might want to know. All right, so here on my lathe, you can see the compound here. You can see that the marks go from zero up to actually about 60 degrees. And if you were to watch a lot of videos, it'll tell you to set 29 degrees. Here's my little marker. But if you set that to 29 degrees, that's not right. And a lot of little Chinese lathes, like the little hobby lathes, they're also marked out just like this. You actually have to set it to about here. And I'll show you. So what you actually want to be is 29 and a half or 30 degrees, whichever you want to do from the chuck. If you set it to 29 degrees here, we actually put up a tractor against it to match it. You're actually at about 60 degrees. which is gonna squash your thread every time. So don't do that. Now another neat trick, I actually got off of Blondie Hack's uh, channel, which is really good, is you need to set up your threading bit parallel to the part, 90 degrees. Now you can use a little fish tail and you can Try and get it in there like that and get it straight against it, which does work and that is what they're for. But these holders, the tool is parallel or straight with the holder. So if you get a little one, two, three block or something that's very straight, you can then just do up your chuck. Try and do this. You can just gently snug your tool into the face of the chuck with the actual tool holder being loose. It'll actually let it spin and it'll end up being parallel without having to muck around. One other thing I wanted to cover was not making big stringy chips while turning. It's really dangerous and I've had it catch before and spin round and flick off like two feet off a lathe and hit me in the lip. It's a really bad idea. And if you can, you should try and learn a bit more about feeds and speeds and what your chip breaker needs to break a chip properly. This is a piece of 4140 that could be kind of stringy. If you, uh, you see it's the exact same depth of cut, it's just the second time I up the uh, feed rate and it breaks a chip properly. I'm not going to go into it in depth because I'm not that great at it myself. But it definitely is worth learning about and try not to do dangerous things like that because it will catch you out very quickly. Anyhow, that is my few little tips that uh, maybe will help you, maybe they won't. Maybe you already know them or maybe you know better. But either way, um, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.